All right, guys, we're gonna go over the uh, interior under the hood trunk on the 79 uh, Lincoln Town Coupe with 844 miles. Again, I remind you, you're gonna see this video on YouTube, but this car will be going up for sale on Bring a Trailer, which is a seven day online auction. When an auction goes live, I'll share the link and you, you'll got, you guys will know uh, where to see the car and how to be able to buy it and bid on it. So, very original car. From the dealers, back in the day, they used to undercoat these cars. There's a lot of, uh, I call it factory, it was at the dealership, undercoating. The car was heavily sprayed and protected. And we just leave it on there. It was done like that back in 79. And, uh, you know, there's no rust on this car. Even if this car was driven out and exposed to snow and elements, which it wasn't, it would have been protected very nicely because of the uh, undercoating from the factory. Engine bay is beautiful. A bunch of the doors are perfect. It's got this um, tough coat. You can see this, again, this was done back in 79. This is very popular with cars back then, especially if a car was bought up north. They would, you know, use the tough coating or undercoating to protect it. So this, you know, you don't have to worry about any rust pop. Again, if there was no undercoating at all, this would be a rust-free car that was hardly ever driven. Did you get up on the door nice? All right, coming around to the trunk, the original spare. All the rubber is original and soft and supple. In great shape. I'm gonna pull this back so you can see that this spare is a matching spare to what's on the car on the four tires. All the codes and dates are all the same. Okay. And then here's probably your uh, yeah your jack and whatnot all there and your fender well. That's all there. They even did look. Even here they even put undercoating up under there so. Car was very, very well protected. Again, that's something they did back in the 70s. I used to work with my dad at a uh, at new car dealership. He was a detailer for several new car dealers. And uh, they would do that. And then they would put what they would call Rusty Jones, which is a, a paint seal that helped protect the, the paint back in the day. So like I said, we're, you know, especially a car from up north, they, they went the extra mile to keep it, to keep it uh, preserved and protected. Go ahead and fan up under the car. I want, I want everybody to see how nice that, you can eat off of the uh, undercarriage. There's no, ru no, there's no rot, no rust, no grime. Again, it was very well protected. It was undercoated, you know, as I said, don't need to repeat myself, it's distressing. And look at the interior. The interior is, again, like a brand new car. Super clean, everything works, the antenna works. Let's see if that clock is, what time does it say, 1216? Well, what time is it on that clock? 12.15. 12.15. So my clock says 12.20. I think I synchronized it with my watch yesterday. Yeah, it's working. Clock is working, which is unusual. Antenna's working, which is unusual for these old cars. Not a speck of dust. No nicks, no scratches, no rips, no tears. Dash, door panels, carpet, everything is just as new. This is, again, a really amazing car. I mean, whoever buys this car, seat belt's still in the wrapper in the back. Here, I'll go ahead and pull the seat up so you can see. I love the attention to detail, the scrolling, the embroidery, and the seat. And then on the back of the seat, look at that. Just like a, again, as I said, it's new. So somebody's gonna really get a really important piece of automotive history here with this car. And again, you, you had your Lincoln Continental, which was a four-door. You had your Mark V, like we here have behind me there. And then they had the Town Coupe. So not sure, you know, you would think you got the Continental, you got, you got the uh, Mark V. Why even make this car? But they decided they needed a square body two-door coupe. I guess it was popular back in the day. Again, I don't think they sold as many of these as the regular Continentals or the Mark Vs. So we're gonna get a Marty report. I'm waiting for the Marty report to come in to see how many were made in this color scheme. But just a beautiful car, an important car with low miles that I um, hope goes into the hands of, of a real collector or someone that's gonna really enjoy the car. So check out the videos. I got five, near 500 pictures, every little nook and cranny on the car. So check it out and good luck bidding guys, thanks.